Simplify 3D introduced a whole new user account system in version 3.0. This new system makes it easy to manage your license and get the latest software updates. Plus, it allows your desktop software to connect to the cloud in order to access up-to-date printer profiles when you need them. So now I'll walk you through the new account system. On Simplify3D.com's top navigation, go to Account. That will bring you to this account page. You'll notice there are two sections here, one for previous Simplify 3D users who haven't upgraded their accounts yet, and one for users that already have a username and password. Users that purchased Simplify 3D prior to version 3.0 will need to take just a moment to upgrade their account so they can access software updates. You'll need your email address and your product key. I'm sure you'll be happy to know that in the future, you can just use your username and password to log into your account, so you won't have to remember your product key. If you just purchased Simplify 3D, you'll already have created a username and password. Just log in here to access your account. So you'll see a variety of options here on the left-hand navigation, but for today I'm just going to walk through a few key things. The dashboard here will have the latest news and announcements from Simplify 3D. If you just purchased, you're probably only looking for the software, so click download to get right to the good stuff. But there are some other tools you may find helpful. For instance, in account settings, you can change the name, email address, and password associated with your license. There's a lot more to explore here, but that's enough of an overview to get you started. So the first time you open the software, you're going to be prompted to log in. It's worth noting that this is still desktop software, so you don't need an internet connection every time you use Simplify 3D. However, you will need to be connected to the internet in order to access software updates and up-to-date printer profiles. Enter your password, and remember to have Remember Me checked so you don't have to remember your username and password in the future, and click Log In. And that's it. Now your desktop software is connected to your online account, and you're ready to go.